And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rimes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking up fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, credit, finance, estate planning, tax planning, and so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Our number one goals remain the same. We're going to educate, we're going to entertain, we're going to enlighten, but most importantly, we want to engage you in an effort to help you win in any marketplace. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Now we'd love for you to save our hotline number in your phone because at some point you're going to need it. 813-670-7372. You used to call me on- Don't forget our number. Bookmark our website, consumerqb.com. A plethora of information available on our website, consumerqb.com. You can see links to all of our expert contributors, the finest folks in all of Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region of Florida that we've assembled, we've vetted, and we bring on the air to help you understand more about things happening in your daily life, current events, things happening in Tampa Bay. All-star lineup today, Intelligent Talk Radio, and we got some intelligent folks here in studio with us. Back in studio, Mayor George Credick is Clearwater Mayor. George Credick is welcome in, sir. Hi, thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. That's right. Yes, sir. Love is in the air. This is the month, right? This is the month when the celebration right. happens. What's uh, Give us a little teaser what you're going to talk about, what's happening in Clearwater. Uh, well, y- you set it up, Brandon. We're going to talk about baseball today because yeah. spring training is also in the air. Pitchers and catches are reporting today, uh, and we're looking forward to the start of spring training in Pinellas County in Clearwater with the Phillies who've trained yeah. in uh, Clearwater since 1947. And the Toronto Blue Jays are in Dunedin, and they've been there their entire life. Nice. Yeah, a lot of good things happening in Tampa Bay. So much to talk about, and uh, more from Mayor Credick is coming up. Also in studio, we've got Chris Clark. He's the owner of Therapeutic Elements Center for Massage Therapy. Welcome in, sir. Hey, thanks, Brandon. My pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'm uh, excited to share uh, why I'm so passionate about massage therapy and how we help people stay active. Excellent. That's right. Pain relief and, you know, those busy lifestyles. It's great to go in and get that weekly massage. And John Youngblood making his debut. John Youngblood, uh, everything but the house. Welcome in, sir. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, thanks for having us, Brandon. My pleasure. Yeah. Yes, sir. Excited to talk a little bit about downsizing, estate planning. Um, You know, we we do it all. We we come and coordinate and yeah. And sell, sell some saleable. So uh, looking forward to talking a little bit about everything but the house. That's right. EBTH.com yeah. is the website as well. You can uh, estate sales and, and on steroids, basically. It's a way that you can sell uh, some of the unwanted items around your home, especially if you're downsizing, moving. Uh, we'll, we're going to dive deeper into that uh, with our estate sales partner, John Youngblood, here uh, on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And our feel-good story of the week coming up as well, a Good Samaritan's aid couple whose boat sank in John's past. We're going to talk about that in our feel-good story, uh, the Tell Me Something Good segment. And we also have coming up later as well as a name that tune. Today's uh, list comprised of popular love songs uh, since it's the the holiday time here, Valentine's Day holiday uh, coming up as well. And as the owner of Platinum MVP Realty, I'm also a published author. I'd love for you to check out our book on Amazon, Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves, available on Amazon.com. And we'd love to talk to you about that and, and the new chapter coming out. Very big announcement coming up very soon on that as well. And uh, published author, professional speaker. So we do a lot of speaking in public uh, spaces. We'd love to talk to anybody out there that has an organization, a club. We'd love to come out and motivate your audience and talk about success stories. And today we've got one. We're going to talk about a series here coming up. We've got our top 10 rags to riches success stories of all time, according to men's SXP.com. So number one, on the list is Henry Ford. Henry Ford was a farm boy. He went on to revolutionize the transportation industry in America. Ford was very interested in mechanics from a young age when he dismantled and reassembled a pocket watch at the age of 15 his father had given him. 
A self-taught watch repairman who graduated from being an apprentice machinist, Ford started his personal experiments on gasoline engines, which was the beginning of his vast Ford empire. And his net worth, according to Forbes in 2008, uh, is a cool $188.1 billion. So there's number one on our list and you know, kind of inspiring you there, the great Henry Ford there, what he did and revolutionizing the area. Uh, hot listing on Clearwater Beach. I want to let you know about it. It's 1024 Mandalay Avenue, Clearwater Beach. We just reduced this property. Uh, it's down to $239,000. We'd love for you to take a look at it, schedule a showing, and just reduced to 739 two-bedroom, two-bath property, over 1,800 square feet with a split floor plan located in North Beautiful, uh, beautiful North Clearwater Beach in the uh, Carolel uh, community. Beautiful property here in gorgeous Tampa Bay. All right, let's jump right into it, uh, Mr. Mayor. So Mayor George uh, Credick is here in studio today, and and uh, yeah, so baseball is in the air. It's it's a great time of year, and getting out there and enjoying this lovely weather, kind of before that that dead heat of the summer comes. It's a right. great time. We we had the uh, Philly equipment van came into town on Sunday. It was amazing. They had a semi trailer full of bats, balls, gloves jerseys everything you need for the baseball team but they also had on there their personal items because you know bicycles uh, strollers car seats because we tend to forget that for the next six weeks now the yeah. phillies the blue jays the yankees the tigers all these spring training teams they come and live in the tampa bay area yeah. for the entire time the phillies bring their entire organization down from the president wow. of the company on down to they bring in even the groundskeepers and the ticket takers at Citizens Bank Park. They let them come down for just just a little while. And of course, the most important item on the uh, on on the truck was the Philly Fanatics hot dog launcher. Oh, nice! Yeah, so yeah. we had a good time on helping them unload uh, the van and get set up for for today that's quite a facility that we have over there a great spring Spe training spectrum great. field is is a fantastic uh field it's one of the best in the country yeah uh we've partnered with the phillies with their carpenter complex and and you know it's just been a good relationship and we we need to remember yeah. That spring training is important to the entire Tampa Bay area. It's important to Florida. Yeah, it you is. know, and, and sometimes we forget that. Yeah, but uh, it's an opportunity to see the players up close and personal. You know, they're much more relaxed than they are during the regular season, yeah. and uh, it's just a good time of year. Yeah, the economic impact that we have of the major sports teams in the area, and especially the spring training. Uh, wow, what is that number quantitated? Oh, in Clearwater, it's about one hundred and fifty million dollars. Wow, you know, just just. And what's amazing is that how many families keep coming back over and over again. We have one hotel that uh, has the same group of people come every year. And they want to stay in the same room. They get the same seats. It's just nice. a tradition and superstition with them. And so, you know, with the Eagles winning the Super Bowl, we're, we're, we have high hopes that, that the Phillies will fly high also. Yeah, they, there you go. Yeah, that's a. so is that a uh, early prediction? Or, well, <laughs> may, maybe a year early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it may not be this year, but we're hoping. Nice. Yeah, that was quite an upset in the Super Bowl, wasn't it? I mean, if you call oh, it an upset. On who, I mean, yeah, it depends yeah. on who you were rooting for, right? Yeah. 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 yeah interesting. Yeah. And and when you look at the you look at the economic impact that all of the different developments having. I was out on the boat this weekend with Freedom Boat Club and uh -huh. just kind of cruising around Shepherds all the way around the Opal Sands down to the Honeymoon Island. Yeah. And just when you look back at the land, you see the developments going on. It, it just seems like wow, this this economy is really booming. The the economy is doing well. We're, we're expecting a very big tourist season uh we're looking for it to all our visitors you know coming down whether it's for baseball whether it's just for a holiday with the family uh the snowbirds from canada you know we we tend sometimes we get a little upset because the traffic is heavy uh, right. but you know it's not as bad the rest of the year right and it means so much to all of us to have a successful springtime it sure does so let's talk about a little bit of the the trickle down effect so to speak with the the, the visitors from up north the uh, snowbirds aka snowbirds coming down you know we see that trickling down into you know everything from the aquarium to real estate i mean there is a tremendous amount of economic impact oh yes and and we also need to remember that that impact really carries throughout the year 
because right. um, in terms of the Phillies, and I know the Yankees do the same thing. When, when somebody starts playing for the Phillies, when they get drafted, the first place they report to is Clearwater. If they get injured during the season, they come back to Clearwater to start their rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. and, and then the tourist, when he's down here, you know, if he has a good time, and I'd like to think that all of our hospitality industry, you know, does a good job in promoting the area, they remember that and they come back with their families 5, 10, 15 years ago. That's right. Down the road. So it's an investment that, that we're making today for the future. Yeah, it surely is. And you look at, you know, just uh, in the latter part of last year, we were talking about the uh, tax job, uh, Trump tax plan, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, have you seen any impacts of that already or do you see stuff happening in that yeah. place? It's probably still a little early since yeah. we're still early in the year. Uh, but I know from what our employees at the city have said, you know, it has made a difference in their take-home pay and right. we would like to think that that would would be spent in the community but we also would need to remind people that they also need to do some saving too you know, that's just right don't go spend it all in one place you know i mean go get a massage that's but, right but, you know the, the second week maybe put it aside and then go the third week and and, and do your estate planning or whatever <laughs> yeah. they need to just put that in the tax plan <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go yeah get get the uh, massages added in i think it's part of the uh, flex spending account right right could Absolutely. be yeah. could be part of the flex spending yeah so uh, when we come back more from uh, mayor george craddock is here on clearwater uh the impact clearwater beach i want to talk a little bit about the beaches and uh, more from our expert contributors as well we've got chris clark in the house john youngblood as well so uh Stay with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we want to give a shout out to Brio Tuscan Grill at the International Plaza, our official restaurant partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. At International Plaza, you will discover an Italian menu, signature drinks, and a cozy atmosphere, bringing the pleasures of a Tuscan country <laughs> villa to Tampa. Uh, we invite you to make your reservation today and try the Italian menu over at Brio Tuscan Grill, located off of Bay Street, next to the Renaissance Tampa International Hotel. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this short break. Coming up, our Name That Tune and our Feel Good story of the week we'll be right back this is work done and you're listening to the real estate quarterback show hosted by my man brandon rhymes to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com
You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host here of the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we're giving a shout out to Mary Maids Cleaning Service. Let Mary Maids take care of your winter cleaning. We know clean. Leave the details to us. They're bonded and insured. Customized cleaning. Equipment and supplies provided. Reliable service. Screened and trained employees. And also the same team cleans whenever possible. They are the recipients of the Women's Choice Award and uh, America's most recommended cleaning service, Mary Maids Cleaning Service the official cleaning partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, back here in studio, we're going to help you win in any marketplace. That's the goal of our show. And we've got Clearwater Mayor George Credicus in the house. We've got Chris Clark as well, uh, Therapeutic Elements Center for Massage Therapy. John Youngblood, everything but the house as well coming up. And uh, let's go back to the mayor. So uh, we were uh, kind of talking between the break there. You uh, you got your own hamburger named after you over there in Clearwater. Yeah, uh, Fort's Garage <laughs> just opened up uh, a restaurant in the countryside area of Clearwater. And uh, to my surprise, when I went for the ribbon cutting, I saw, you know, the menu and there was the George Crudica's hamburger. Nice. Yeah. Nice. What What is on that hamburger? Uh, some bacon, uh, some very good sauce. Nice. You know, it, it, it was pretty good. If I say so myself, yeah. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Ford, you know, we talked about Henry Ford in the well, opening. Well, that's so. what you know came to mind when you yeah. mentioned because that in one of his sayings of how he revolutionized you know transportation in the United States and what yeah. a, what a forward thinker he was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the assembly line. Yeah. I mean, wow, what an impact yeah. that's had. I was watching a documentary the other day. It was talking about uh, Nazi Germany and how they were creating um, what was it the VW, the Bugs, the right. Volkswagens, and how they saw us as a, a major. Um, competitor you know at the time we were beating them in the auto transportation game it was interesting to see how that played out uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah very cool all right so when we when we talk about clearwater beach you know we always think about the clearwater aquarium you think about number one beaches in the world yeah. depending on which survey or study you're looking at right. uh, or, or website uh saint pete clearwater typically you know at the top of that list um, you, you're seeing that trend uh, continue. We, we, you know, we're just so proud of our hospitality industry and our beach because, as you say, the sugar sands, the clear water, yeah. the sunsets, uh, it's to die for. And uh, we're, we're just so happy that so many people like to come and visit and, and our residents, you know, also get to enjoy being out on the beach. M maybe maybe they don't like it in the march you know when we're extremely busy and it's hard to get there but we're looking at yeah. some other ways of trying to you know in encourage people to use alternative transportation we're working with right. uh, pSTA and the jolly trolley uh, the Clearwater ferry service to get you not to take your car to the beach to park on the main one and use this public transportation or the ferry uh, to get to the beach yeah uh, and we have other means that you can get around after you get there although we we have opened up some new garages we actually have more parking spaces on the beach now than we did five six years ago yeah. so um you know come and enjoy clearwater yeah come and enjoy it and what did you think about the announcement with the raises last week um you know the important thing is that we keep the rays in the Tampa Bay area. I, I know for a lot of people in North County, it may be easier for them to get to um, Tampa than to St. Petersburg. But, you know, it's a community asset. It's a regional asset. Right. And we need to uh, do what we can to help the race, like we help the Lightning and the Buccaneers and all of our spring training teams. That's right. Yeah, that's one thing I, I really want to commend you on as well as, you know, we've had Mayor Buckhorn on the show. We had Christman, uh, Mayor Christman on the show as well. And, you know, you guys really work together to keep jobs, to keep the events coming to the Tampa Bay market. And uh, have you seen? How have you seen that playing Mayor out? Mayor yeah. Buckhorn, Mayor Kreisman, and I uh, meet on a regular basis, and, and we try to cooperate because we we also realize that you know if it's good for Tampa, it's going to be good for Clearwater. Yeah, that's right. Uh, in fact, even in in uh, our visit St. Pete Clearwater, we're advertising in Orlando as Orlando's Beach. You nice. know, to try to entice people to come from Orlando to Pinellas County. Yeah. You know, Tampa doesn't really have a beach. Right. So if you want to come over to, to Clearwater and, and use us to promote, you know, the Tampa Bay area, 
let, let's do it together. And, and that's, that's right. Mayor Buckhorn, Mayor Christman, and I, you know, when, when you look at the cultural activities in, in St. Petersburg and how its downtown has, has really been reborn, right. uh, again, it shows that it benefits the entire area. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah, the only beach in Tampa, I think, is when Jeff Vinnick pulls has that six weeks or so, <laughs> four or six weeks, where he does it at the uh, the palace there. Yeah, you can't get that set. You can't get those bowls in your t- those yeah. balls in your toes like you get the, the beach sand. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit better over there on the the real deal. Right. Yeah, so uh, interesting. So if you just joined us, I'm your host Brandon Ryan's. We're talking with Mayor George Credicus here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and. You know, just overall, the the optimism, I think, when you think about the economy, I talk to a lot of developers and, and a lot of builders here, and uh, we're actually building a house as well in, in Pinellas County. And, you know, just the optimism is is just at a, at a very high level it, uh, it, as far as the economy and buildings. We, we forget that, you know, Pinellas is the most dense county in the entire state of Florida. It's the yeah. second smallest county. So we're basically built out. So we need that redevelopment to come in to re-energize us, and that's what everybody is trying to accomplish. Yeah, that's right. You, and and when I talk to builders, they're they're talking about infill projects. You know, a house that has a big lot. Let's build a house next to it. Let's look at the zoning. Do you see the zoning departments playing well with those types of people looking to do those projects? I I, I think so. And, yeah. and, and 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 while you were talking about the high end, I, I've I've got to put in a plug if I can uh, for for affordable housing. You know, yes. and we've done uh, in Clearwater, we've been working very closely with Habitat for Humanity. Yes. And it's been exciting to see all of the businesses that have come forward to help Habitat in build homes. We're working in, in one of our um, neighborhoods now. Uh, Habitat is building 12 new homes with the help of businesses like Frenchie's, Bank of America, Abe's Place, yeah. uh, Marine Max. Yeah. Um, you know, and this is giving families who, you know, have not had that opportunity to be a homeowner to become one. And it has redeveloped and revitalized certain little neighborhoods throughout Clearwater and really all of Pinellas County. Yeah, it sure has. We just we actually just had them on the show last week. I think it was Mark that was in studio and Abe from Abe's yeah. Place, Total Title Solutions. He's our partner on the t- uh, title insurance side. A- a- Abe is, is uh, doing a house next week that we're dedicating. I think it's on Wednesday. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. And then in the past, we've had Warwick Dunn on the show. We did a lot with uh, the down payment assistance programs. That, that That is so good to know that some of these sports athletes, you know, what continue to give back to the community. Vinny LeCavier, you know, yeah. the other day was talking about, you know, what an honor it was for him, not necessarily to have his jersey retired, but to know that he could go to All Children's Hospital and, and work with the kids there and give them hope. Yeah. And, and that's what this is all about yeah super cool uh, that's great so more from Jer- uh, mayor uh, george credit is here uh, on the show i want to switch gears i want to talk with chris clark now let's bring chris in and let's talk about therapeutic element center for massage therapy hey brandon thanks for having me on the show and and uh just real quick mayor george did you say that the phillies had a hot dog launcher uh, well, it, it's the Philly fanatic, and after maybe in the sixth inning, he goes around the field and he uses this launcher to just propel hot dogs out into the stand. I can see a lot of shenanigans <laughs> if that thing got into the wrong hands. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, yeah, I, I've been doing massage since 2002. I got out of school. I, I, I went down to Sarasota, went to school down there, Florida College of Natural Health, and uh, we actually got to do spring training um massage for the the cincinnati reds when they were down in sarasota that was a really unique experience working on people um athletes if you will who have specific injuries and recover instantly um so uh ever since then been uh developing my own practice and now we have uh three treatment rooms four therapists an office manager uh, and we focus on pain relief. So anybody who's trying to stay active, which most people are, and, and that could be anything from throwing a football, playing hockey, or just trying to get down on the floor and play with your grandkids, we focus on trying to keep people active. That's exactly what we do. And so a lot of the treatments that we do are designed for people with scoliosis, low back pain, plantar fasciitis, neck pain, whiplash injuries. We love uh, when it gets busy because there's lots of car accidents and we treat all those people (laughs) and get them back out onto the road. Um, Snowbird season is great. Um, 
And then the opposite of snowbird season is hot chick season. That's when the people go north for the hot weather. There you if go. You didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we, we love Clearwater um, and everything in Pinellas County. It's just amazing. It's been, uh, we've been very fortunate to be in that industry and in that uh, part of the country. What's your most popular relief uh, strategy in terms of uh, modality, I guess? So the number one modality that we focus on is called neuromuscular. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, and it's hard for the, the listeners to probably view this, but um, every muscle, you have over 600 muscles. If you can wrap your head around that, there's a muscle covering every inch of the body and they all have nerves innervating the muscles. And sometimes the nerve doesn't tell the muscle to shut off. So the muscle stays on and it spasms and it gets angry. Just like you and I, if we don't get enough sleep, the muscle gets pissed off. Yeah. I don't know if I can say that, but yeah, that's not bad. All right. So, uh, we go in and actually with the neuromuscular therapy, we get that muscle to turn off so we can reset it to its normal resting length and take the pressure off all the, the nerves and the joints and all that fun stuff. Um, that, and thereby the person gets to stand up straight and they don't have any pain anymore, but yeah, neuromuscular yeah. is the way to go. Kind of like hitting control alt delete on a computer, kind of resetting. So uh, when we come back, I want to ask you a question about the face. Cause I've heard the face in particular has over uh, 60 plus muscles and they talked about the importance of smiling as a part of your uh your your motivational side you know to be able to you know fight off the the uh depression and, and things that people have so i want to talk about that and uh, more from our expert contributors here on the consumer quarterback show coming up name that tune as well popular love songs we're going to have our expert contributors here uh guests and there are five songs that we have and uh, for our name that tune and we have our feel good story of the week and our tell me something good good samaritans aid couple whose boat sank in john's past stay with us here consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com thanks for listening to my daddy's show for more information go to consumerqb.com to get in touch with brand Call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 U.S. Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Holox is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at completecaresystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364-5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates. Or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them.
You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, helping you win in any marketplace. And we are having some fun here in studio. Coming up, we have our Name That Tune we got songs. Today's list are popular love songs that were in movies. And we also have our Feel Good Story of the Week and our Tell Me Something Good. And uh, our expert contributors here in studio. This segment is brought to you by Chef Will Wagner. Healthy meal delivery service. Chef Will and his team conveniently deliver organic meals to your home or office. He also has paleo ketogenic, vegan, and gluten-free kids' menus available. Chef Will Wagner, he's my chef, and he can be your family chef, too. All right, back here in studio, we got uh, Mayor George Credicus in studio today. Uh, Chris Clark, he's the owner of Therapeutic Elements Center for Massage Therapy. And coming up as well, we've got John Youngblood, everything but the house, ebth.com. So uh, let's go back to Chris here. So, Chris, we were talking, you know, it was interesting. I was listening to a, an audio book. I love audio books, the ability to do net X, net time no extra time like tony robbins talks about one of my favorites i've been to his business mastery course a couple of times all the way into molly fiji and uh, one of his uh proteges was talking about on his book where he says when you when you smile the the smile just sets your physiology your your sets the tone for your day it's going to make your body follow and you're going to be in a better mood and there's also studies shown where you stand up tall with your chest out and your structure your posture that it's going to invite you know that type of uh you're going to be releasing more of the endorphins into your body uh, so the the face we actually did a google between the break you said it's 43 muscles just in the face alone 43 muscles in the face that's right and to smile, you know, it's gonna you're gonna activate those muscles, and it's gonna activate something within your body that's gonna help you have a happier and more successful day. Yeah, uh, specifically the endocrine system. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna start to release dopamine and uh, um, uh, oxytocin, like a lot of those feel good hormones that, yeah. that typically you'll feel if if somebody gives you a hug right. uh, or you eat chocolate or you have sex. I mean, yeah. it's it's all the same thing. And 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 it's funny uh, you mentioned some of those studies. I was watching a TED talk actually, and they were. Yep. They were showing that uh, people are uh, more likely to get a job interview if they have their shoulders back um, yeah. versus if they slouch forward. And, and it all has to do with the amount of hormones that are going through their system. Yeah, absolutely. And you, and you talk about, you know, setting the tone for the day and, and just living with expectation. You know, how many times have you seen that play out in other people's lives? You know, the famous story of Jim Carrey writing himself that $10 million check, and then he does the movie Dumb and Dumber, you know, actor services rendered $10 million. You know, so so you set that tone, and, and then ultimately, you know, you're able to receive that. So uh, part of a, a weekly, my routine for a long time has been a weekly massage. And, you know, it's just one of those things you look forward to. You come in, especially an old football player like me, you know, played on the inaugural football team, USF. Uh, so a lot of uh, sports injuries. I'm sure you're seeing, you know, people come in with all different types of, of injuries. Yeah, and they, they usually do come with a frown on their face. <laughs> and, yeah. and then uh, we, we do everything in our power to, to kind of uh, get them leaving with a smile. Um, and, and it's funny that you mentioned the face. One of the things that we do is uh, we work for um, to relieve temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. Some people mm. might know it as TMJ. Yes. Uh, by the way, you have two TMJs, one on each side. Uh, but when they dysfunction, you'll get that audible popping and sometimes yeah. you'll get tension headaches. Uh, and sometimes it'll actually lock in the open position. That's called lock jaw. Oof. But uh, one of the techniques we do is we actually put a glove on, sterile glove, and go and work the muscles on the inside of the cheek as well as the muscles on the outside of the cheek to get that jaw to realign. Wow, interesting. Yeah, that's uh, that's very interesting, and I'm sure you're, you're seeing some athletes coming in, different different types of athletes. What what are you seeing mostly when it comes to the athletes? Uh, our target market specifically is uh, your females, thirty to fifty, that go to a fitness boot camp and kind of work out in that group setting. Yeah. Um, we tend to see a lot of CrossFitters. They they tend to injure themselves a lot because they're super competitive with themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we do a lot of uh, some of the Tampa Bay roller derby girls, um, as well as uh, your weekend warriors who are just working out with their friends and family. Um, a lot of people who go to Orange Theory. I mean, we, we we see a lot of those athletes. Yeah, and you're you're located right there on US 19 in the Outback 
Plaza, is that what? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. right. Just south of Tampa Road where it intersects with 19. Just south of Tampa Road. That's right. So uh, go say hello to Chris Clark, uh, Therapeutic Elements Center for Massage Therapy. And uh, I'm a client. I've been over there in a great massage, great atmosphere in there. And I, I think that massage is going to help you with, with longevity. You know, much like they say, having a pet or a dog, you know, will help you live longer. I think getting a weekly massage is part of a, you know, um, you know, I think I like the I love the stress relief aspect of it. You know, hey, power off the phone for an hour uh, and, and just get away from it and, and rejuvenate your body. Yeah, the, uh, to, to go further into your point about stress, stress can be uh, chemical stress, mechanical stress from a trauma or an injury. It could be emotional stress. There's a lot of different types of stress out there. And, uh, you know, we, we're gifted this amazing machine, the human body, but we're yeah. actually not given a user manual. That's right. And, and yeah. the best thing I can do is give you a massage to give you a warranty on that machine. There you go. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, get the warranty. Check in with the warranty uh, over at Therapeutic Elements Center for Massage Therapy. We're talking with Chris Clark here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And, yeah, you know, I just I look at the the stress that we have, so many different types of stresses, uh, even, you know, electromagnetic now from the computer screens we're looking at. Um, sleeping patterns may be disrupted now because people are still looking at their phones before they go into uh, that sleep mode and they may not be getting as deep into the REM sleep as you're supposed to be. But uh, I, I bet you're seeing some people battling with that as well. Yeah, uh, oddly enough, um, that, that stage, there's now three stages, used to be four, but between stage three and four, when, uh, when you go into REM now, that's actually when you release growth hormone mm -hmm. and, and that's how you repair your body. So if you don't find yourself uh, getting into that dream state and called rapid eye movement dream state, um, you're not releasing growth hormone. Your body's not repairing itself. So yeah. you're, you're just not feeling refreshed when you wake up in the morning. That's right. Yeah. You look at that and, you know, the challenges that we have. This is one, one thing that, that our listeners, I would urge you to do. Check them out. Uh, our viewers of our TV show on WeBeam TV. And we want to remind you as well, this show, we want you to think about our show as the hub of your financial, your business, your health will. Each spoke extending out representing another one of our preferred partners, our expert contributors that come on the air uh, every day, uh, 5 o'clock drive time right here on 1380 The Biz. Uh, weekends on The Bone, 1025 The Bone on Sunday mornings. Daily TV show on WeBeam TV. So think about ConsumerQB.com as your resource. There's a lot of our expert contributors there. We've got attorneys, uh, CPAs, financial advisors, all types of folks that can help you uh, live a better life, more informed, and, and keep in, intact with uh, you know things happening in Tampa Bay. So uh, Chris Clark, thanks so much. I want to bring John Youngblood on now into the conversation. So kind of switching gears, talking about estate sales, uh, very unique model. This is such an advanced model when it comes to estate sales. Uh, maybe you have a, a loved one that passed or uh, someone that's uh, looking to downsize, move closer to beach, downsize to a condo from a big house they've been in their whole life but everything but the house has such an advanced model uh you know the 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 uh traditional method is you put out this bandit signs you try to drive a bunch of people through your home there's so many different concerns there security and the five finger discounts and all those things but everything but the house you guys are doing it a lot differently yeah we are branded and i, and I appreciate you for having me and and chris i appreciate this guy too i don't know if you you notice in your conference room i have plantar fasciitis you rip my shoes off nice diagnose my arch probably gonna go down there check them out so very cool uh, very cool very cool but yeah so everything but the house uh we're a little bit different than your your typical estate company um we're, we're full service we, we do everything and, and we perform that estate sale online your typical estate to your point is a sign out front runs through the weekend a bunch of people run through the house you're really limited to whoever sees that sign whoever knows about the sale that's right or whoever's in that neighborhood with everything but the house what we do is we broadcast it to the world. Yeah. We've shipped out to over 100 countries. Uh, we have 1.5 million bidders on our platform, which are bidding on local homes in the Tampa Bay area. So estate sales that are going up, we're, we're putting them on there and letting the world decide how much money you're actually going to get for your items. Yeah, I like that. I mean, you're casting a much wider net to use a fishing uh, term there. You know, you, you've got the, a large net, 1.5 million bidders and, you know, helping the home sellers sell items that they may not want. And I like the idea that you will also help with items that may not sell. You'll also kind of work with a donation service. There's it's full service. Yeah, it's full service. We, we come in. Uh, we really start off with our, our, our initial consultation. We'll have a sales specialist actually come to your home, walk the home with you. Uh, and, and get an understanding for what you have in your house. Then we can decide what we are going to sell, what, what, what is donatable, and what is trash removal. We work with third parties all over uh, the Tampa Bay area um, and, and really all over Florida. 
oh, we've, we've gone everywhere all over the state of Florida, but we find partners to work with to coordinate the trash removal, coordinate the donations. So it, it gives the family a, a, a nice sense of, uh, of ease when we go in there that give us the keys to the house or hang out on the couch and just let us do our thing. And we'll make sure that you're completely bright at the end of the day. And I think a big point of this as well is just understanding that a lot of times people don't know what they don't know. They don't understand the value that they have in some of their jewelry, uh, antiques, and you at EBTH, uh, your team, John, you guys have on staff uh, folks that are able to, you know, basically say, hey, here's here's what an appraisal would be of this actual item. Yeah, we, we don't actually appraise any of the items. Um, we're not certified appraisers, but yep. we have over a thousand employees. We hire people that are subject matter experts. Our corporate office is out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Some of our experts, um, we, we have uh, a gentleman that's our art director that works for the Antiques Roadshow as well. Um, they are subject matter experts in their field. They know a lot about a lot of things or they know a, a very lot about one thing um, where they can take a look at an item and say, this is what it is. So it's truly professional people taking a look at all your items to describe them, to photograph them. Um, it, it's not just someone coming in the house and putting a sign up. Yeah, absolutely. When we come back, I want to ask you, you know, with the surge in antiques roadshows and American pickers, you know, some of the some of the different scenarios, maybe some of the cooler items you've seen, uh, some interesting stories. Hopefully you have some some interesting stories for us there and uh, more from our expert contributors. When we come back, we're going to tell you something good in our feel good story of the week and also our name that tune segment coming up as well here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Stay with us. Do not touch that dial. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Jarek Robbins. You are listening to the the Consumer Quarterback Show with Brandon Rimes. Please do what it takes to learn all that you have to to live the life you want to live. Live it fully and find a way to give it by paying it forward to others. Get in touch with Brandon online at ConsumerQB.com. Ian Beckles here with... Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent uh, in Tampa Bay. We're looking for a Spanish real estate agent 
agent. I get a lot of calls and I don't, unfortunately, I'm not bilingual, which I wish I was. I wish I didn't take French in high school. I wish I took Spanish. But, uh, you know, we're if you know of anybody that's a uh, Spanish real estate agent, I'd love to talk to them. We got a lot of leads coming in and uh, we'd love to, uh, you know, bring someone on our team that we can provide leads to and, and help them grow their business uh, through our unique strategies of radio, TV marketing, and, and of course, all the traditional uh, MLS marketing as well. This segment is brought to you by Kipton's, the Hotels of Mora on beautiful St. Pete Beach. Uh, Kipton's The Hotels of More is a whitewashed Mediterranean palace with expansive luxury suites. You've got a restaurant on site. The Castile restaurant is great food, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And you also have rooftop 360 lounge up top. Gorgeous views overlooking the intercoastal waterway as well as the Gulf of Mexico. And they've got a pool area, boat docks as well. You can pull your boat up if you're a boater like me. I love getting out there on the weekends with Freedom Boat Club. So uh, say hello to Kipton's The Hotels of More on St. Pete Beach and let them know the real estate quarterback sent you and you're going to get 20 percent off of your room stay just by mentioning the radio show and the req code and enjoy a beautiful weekend over in gorgeous saint pete beach And I got a hot listing here on St. Pete, uh, northeast, old northeast of St. Pete. I want to let you know about 215 12th Avenue Northeast. This property is almost finished with construction. It's a SIPS panel house, which has a lot of benefits over a traditional stilt built home. $1.4 million complements of platinum. MVP Realty, and if you hurry, you can select the colors and the, the cabinets, the flooring, uh, the paint styles, anything that you want. 215 12th Avenue Northeast. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com. PlatinumMVPRealty.com. All right, in studio with us today, we got Mayor George Creticus, uh, and Chris Clark, Therapeutic Elements for Center for Massage Therapy, and John Youngblood. He's everything but the house, and we're talking uh, currently, you know, with the, with the uptick in, in these popular shows. People just love to go and pick you know one of my favorites is the american picker show you know you find out you know, man they're finding all these cool uh old gas station signs all types of uh civil war uh type memor memorabilia all these different things what are what are some of the cooler things you guys have found oh gosh we've we've we found just about everything i mean yeah. literally we've sold everything uh last <laughs> month we sold a private jet it was the first time we ever sold an airplane nice out of denver sold a sold a plane which was 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 different for us but as we're going through the home we go top to bottom we pull all the drawers we open up all the cabinets you know some of the cool things that we find um we we found a a, a baseball that was in a sock in the top drawer of a gentleman's uh who, who had passed his bureau his wife had no idea about he was hiding an autographed babe ruth lou gehrig baseball no way which we authenticated was 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 real um which was amazing and and honestly all of his stuff was all those clothes his wife was about to donate so someone yeah. would have had a pretty nice fine at uh at, at a goodwill <laughs> but uh um you know we we found uh you know oil paintings john baptiste oil painting in the garage uh which was our highest selling item ever in pittsburgh no one wow the the lady knew it was nice she knew it was special but didn't really know what it was so um we find those things all what over did that the sell house for by the way Roughly one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah, for a John Baptiste. Yep, that was in wow. the in the garage, and uh, you know, probably never going to see a wall again. But uh, um, those are the, those are the cool things about our our job and our company is yeah, we're finding all those. We're finding all those those hidden gems that uh, a seller may or may not know that they have. Yeah, um, that we're now broadcasting out to the entire world to say, what, what do we got here? What, what yeah. is it worth? ebth.com as well if you're a online shopper which i have to say uh my fiance does her share of online shopping so you know our garage has all these boxes amazon boxes a lot of different boxes but she's also purchased off of ebth.com a lot of you know that's the flip side is there's great products to be bought we'll tell her thank you yes. um but uh yeah the cool thing about our website too is we start everything at a dollar there's no yeah. reserves it's it's different than a lot of other auction sites um, there's no buyer's premiums either, which is again, a lot of other, the, these auction houses, they put buyer's premiums. So if you buy an item, they typically tack on 16 to 20% of whatever you purchase it. For. Right. Uh, we want to start everything a dollar because we want to engage all 1.5 million bidders right. in that item. We put a $5,000 reserve on something. It probably eliminates most of us. Yeah. Um, but we sell jewelry, we sell handbags, art, um, everything is on there, which, which is nice. So. Your, your 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 fiance can go on there. You can go on there. You can yeah. find something that you're truly passionate about or interested in from 20 different markets across the country. Every yeah. market has a little bit different flair because it's 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 the market. It's local. It's it's fun. That's right. Yeah. Everything but the house. John Nublug here uh, in studio with us today. All right. Let's have a little fun. Let's. It's it's that time. It is that time. <laughs> 
and gentlemen, name that tune. All right, name that tune. So we're gonna have a little fun. We got <laughs> we've got uh, five songs here. Now these are songs that are popular love songs that were in movies. Now if you name the movie, you get extra credit. All right, here we go. Number one. That was Presley. This was this was um, 1965. Unchained Melody, The Righteous Brothers, and it was in the movie Ghost. Remember that movie Ghost with uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Whoopi Goldberg and Patrick Swayze? Was it? Yeah, it was yeah. The, the pottery scene. The pottery yeah, scene. the pottery. Yeah. Scene. <laughs> I, remember, I remember watching that of uh, that movie. But gosh, you can you know how funny you can see where you were at that time, right? I remember it's the bell tower down in Fort Myers. I was watching that movie. All right, here we go. Song number two. It must have been love. You got it. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Did he Google? <laughs> no, I oh. didn't Google. I was oh. going to Shazam it, but I knew it. <laughs> Shazam. So uh, that was 1992 Pretty Woman. That was from the, the movie yeah. Pretty Woman with um, Richard Gere and Julia Roberts. Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts. Yeah. That's right. All right, song number three. Oh, this is popular here. Yeah. I had the time of my life. That's right. Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. There you go. All right. Got the extra credit. Bill Medley, Jennifer Warnes. We were all, you know, dancing to it. We just didn't know the name. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I could see Patrick Swayze holding the girl. Yeah, (laughs) that's right. Holding a baby up. Baby. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Yeah, they shouldn't have done that. That was. (laughs) Here's a popular one. It's Aerosmith. It is Aerosmith. Was um, the astronaut movie? Can they go close? Yeah. yeah. 1998, Armageddon, Armageddon. is the movie, oh, yeah. and I don't want to miss a thing. Aerosmith. You have something for the sound of music? Let's uh, <laughs> let's see. Here's, well, here's our last song. Let's see. And I, um, I will always love you. That's it. Wait. Bodyguard. The Bodyguard. Bodyguard. 1992. Whitney Houston, popular, popular song back in the day. And I think that was on one of our lists from last week too, John, wasn't it? Like top, top love song of all time, maybe. Top love song. Yeah, according to uh, Billboard, that was on our Name That Tune last week. So having some fun with the uh, Valentine's Day theme here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, so now we're going to jump into our lightning round. We're going to go around the horn and just have our final thoughts. The lightning round! I am so good at lightning rounds! I majored in lightning rounds. <laughs> All right. So uh, just final thoughts, top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom, Mayor George Credicus. Oh, I, I'm just still in my baseball mode for spring training. And in yeah. fact, on Thursday, the governor is going to be in St. Petersburg at Tropicana Field for the annual governor's baseball dinner. And all the executives, all the teams from all the 15 nice. teams that are training in Florida will be there for the dinner. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be at, at uh, Tropicana Field. Trop, the Trop. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right, uh, Chris Clark. Yeah, um, I'll just uh, let everybody know that we have a killer deal on couples massages. We do a lot of couples massages for Valentine's Day, so it's 40 bucks off the 90-minute couples massage. Guys, do not forget your ladies, uh, or else you're going to be buying two couples massages. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble there if you forget. All right, John Youngblood. Yeah, uh, EBTH.com. Um, if you're going through a death, divorce, downsize, uh, your, your family's going through an unfortunate situation, please give us a call. Um, look us up on ebth.com. Uh, there's an online form if you, ha- you have a, a home that uh, or an estate that you're looking to liquidate. Give us a call. Let us check it out before you do anything with it because there's probably something there that you don't know about. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so we've got about a minute left or a minute and a half left, uh, Mayor Credicus. So I wanted to kind of finish up, you know, asking you a little bit more about, you know, the the other thing that we didn't talk about a whole lot, but the aquarium, the Clearwater Aquarium. Oh, they're, they're doing an expansion program. In fact, they have a new parking garage that that's open there. Uh, Winter and Hope and Nicholas, they're looking forward to welcoming everybody uh, who will be coming and visit during spring training, during the spring you know, break holiday, during the Easter holiday. But things are going very well at the aquarium. And, and they've opened up some of the new tanks, and they're continuing their fundraising efforts. So we would encourage people to support the aquarium as best they can. Yeah, and that, that movie did a qu- quite a lot to to get uh you know some exposure to the aquarium. Oh, the exposure to the aquarium the the whole area and, and it, it was one of those movies that makes you feel good yeah when when you see it you, know, you didn't have to think 
You didn't have to worry about feeling sad. You yep. just re-energized, and it, like I said, it makes it feel good. Yeah, the dolphin tail, yep. was, and then the tail two, that was good. Dolphin tail two, and, and it was filmed right there, you know, in Clearwater, Pinellas County. Uh, it was exciting to see. It, it gives you hope for the future. Awesome. I want to thank Mayor George Credicus for coming in today. Thank you so much, sir. Chris thank Clark, you. thanks for coming in as well. Therapeutic Elements Center for Massage Therapy. John Youngblood as well. Everything but the house. I want to thank all of our listeners, our viewers of our TV show as well. Thank you for engaging with the show. And we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Something as simple as packing up some leftover food, some clothing you may have, carrying it with you to and from your commute, and handing it to that person that you see in need be a force for good in the community do something kind for one another and uh, continue to tune into our show here like us on facebook we'd love uh, appreciate that on instagram at brandon rhymes one on twitter at brandon rhymes one and we'll see you next time here on the consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com you've been listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes whether it's real estate consumer or financial advice let brandon call your next play contact brandon rhymes at 813 813- 670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at consumerqb.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show. Weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz.